the service to a part that I buy, to a phone call that I make, we're always having to look to how do we increase the perceived value of our business within the consumer's eyes. That's it. And it becomes a cool story too. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, well, yeah. You want to yeah. share it just like you did. Right? One of those you go, you know, like, what? what did, wait, sorry. What did you say? You did. The mechanic made the video. Cool. Okay. Now listen to this. We sort of talked about what is the experience economy. Yes. We talked a little bit about why, why the experience economy, which is the idea that like, you know, well, because that's where people find value now. In, in, and what the heck is an experience? I said, it's not service. So think of it this way. If you've ever been a guest of a business and you've said, um, wow, like positively, wow, I am never going to forget this. Yep. You've had an experience. If you've ever been a guest of a business and said, I'll never be the same again. <laughs> <laughs> You've had a transformation. That oh, that's a good point. Porsche trip I'm going on. That, my friend, literally, you know what's crazy? <laughs> Rather than buy a Porsche, I'll end up doing like 10 of those trips. Yeah. <laughs> like seriously. But, what, but it's also a guided transformation. Walking, yeah, you're gonna be a walking billboard for the brand. Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, I, 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 that, that, that story is pay me to go for the ride and write about it. Well, no, seriously though, that story is gonna be so rich. And mm -hmm. we love collecting and sharing stories with others that mm -hmm. you may turn in, you may turn two or three of your friends into Porsche owners. <laughs> you won't Absolutely. Even do yourself. They don't want to go. <laughs> well, so, so let's, let's talk then about how, well, how do you do it? How do you do experience economy? I own a dealership or maybe I'm a buddy that owns. No, I, I don't. I'm a mechanic. There you I'm go. a friend of a dealership owner. He sends me all kinds of work. I, I'm, I'm Jim's mechanic on main street, anywhere USA. Great. Anybody listening, doesn't matter. I'm not even in the automotive business. I ride the bus and I'm a florist. Well, it doesn't matter. Welcome to the podcast. You can learn something today. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> so here's how experience works. What is it? It's a reference to a big shift in the economy where now the experience is the predominant economic offering. Fantastic. Why do we do it? Because that's what people want. They want to be engaged. They want connection. They want identity. Okay, how do we do it? So you do it this way. You identify the key areas in your business. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're a car dealership, it's the, it's the lot itself. It's the showroom itself. It's the service area. And it's the receiving reception area where the client can sit around and wait. Yep. And what you're asking yourself. So understand this. The experience has nothing to do with the product. We covered a bunch of great topics today. What stood out most to you? Be sure to let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like the post and share it to keep the conversation going. You can follow Jason on all social media platforms by following Strategy with Jason. You can find him pretty well everywhere you can share content. I hope we were able to get you thinking. And until the next time, this has been Nathan with Digital Dealership Solutions. Have a great day.